I love writing test cases. Just gotta fix up a few bugs first, but it shouldn't take longer than half an hour. Stack overflow? Like the runtime error? You know, I should have used the debugger. These print statements are getting kind of messy. Oh, it's a website? Never heard of it before. What's a fang? Three warnings? I should fix those right away. I go to hackathons to code. Not for the free food or swag. 20 out of 20 test cases passed. First try too. You're telling me I need to study for my coding interviews? Nah, I'm sure these classes are preparing us well. This algorithms class is so easy. Free t-shirts? No, thank you. Nah, I'm not aiming for Fang. Imposter syndrome? Never heard of it. I'd love to build your billion dollar app idea. I'm so glad I bought these textbooks. My code always compiles on the first try. It's great that they mark us on our coding style. Really forces us to write clean, maintainable code. Sorry, what is this? I understand this code I wrote last week. My favorite programming language is HTML. Let's try to actually understand this before copy pasting it. I shouldn't add C++ to my resume. I only used it for one class. Memory leak detected. Where? My favorite text editor is good old pen and paper. I would never pull an all-nighter. These humanities and social science requirements really make me a well-rounded person. I'd love to fix your printer. Turns out I misspelled the variable name. Only took a few minutes to figure out. Not three hours. You know, I've been told I have great social skills. You want me to just comment it out? Nah, I'll just delete it. It's not like I'm ever gonna need it again. No, no, this makes a lot of sense. C++ is so beginner friendly. They should teach this in the intro class. Leak code? Is that some new JavaScript framework? Whoa, 3 a.m.? I should go to sleep. I'm not gonna pull an all-nighter for this assignment. Phew, finished just in time. Luckily, I started this assignment right when it came out. No, I never have problems coming up with variable names. I can't wait to invert a binary tree at work. I'm so glad we have to take communication courses to graduate. IntelliSense is so useless. Who forgets the names of their own variables? I always save before I compile. My typing speed? How would I know that? The professor was right. From now on, I'm gonna write my tests first, then my code. You use Git for version control? You know Google Docs can do that too, right? I love how they make us write our own tests. It really forces us to be responsible programmers. They should really make this operating systems course a bit harder. I should go take my daily shower. Who would have thought that getting an internship would be this easy? I don't think we take enough math courses. I shouldn't add React to my resume. I only watched one tutorial about it. Non-static method cannot be referenced from a static context? I should check the official documentation first. It's not like copy pasting this error message and clicking the first stack overflow link is gonna be any faster. I'm so glad we had to take that operating systems class. It's really helping me center this div. My favorite language has to be C. Who doesn't like to manage their own memory? I think I have too many monitors. Just a quick little refactor. And it still works. What? There's no light theme? What's Discord? This stuff is gonna be so useful at work. I'm so glad we had to take discrete math. The other day at work, I had to prove by induction that the quicksort algorithm is indeed quick. I should just write the documentation now. Why wait? I'm telling you, every class should be done in assembly. Of course my test week covers every edge case. Corner cases too. Yeah, I can hack your friend's phone for you. CSS is not annoying. My LinkedIn feed is great for my mental health. All right, finally time to build my to-do list web app. Probably gonna need some AWS stuff for handling data. Kinesis, DynamoDB, Elastic Cache, TimeStream, Open Search Service, throw them together with some Lambda functions. Whoa, 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 that's a little overkill, don't you think? But if you do ever need a real-time data platform, you should use Redis. Redis is the most loved database in the world and the sponsor of this video. With Redis Enterprise, you can use services like Redis Streams to collect data, Redis Time Series for analysis, Redis JSON for persisting data, and Redis Search for indexing. All of these services are in a single system, which reduces the complexities in your architecture and the resources required. So really, you're getting a unified system that's both fast and cost-effective. On top of that, Redis can be used as a primary database. Some of you might know Redis as a caching database. In fact, most Redis service providers only support Redis as a cache, which means that you still need a separate database. But that just introduces a lot of complexity and latency. Luckily, with Redis Enterprise, you can use Redis as both a caching and primary database in a single system that's blazing fast. Get $200 in credits and a chance to win a Tesla by signing up for Redis Enterprise using the link in the description. We're using Raspberry Pi for the lab? Good thing I didn't eat lunch yet. 